All right, so we're on the top end of the motor. Um, as y'all can see, I went on ahead and put the uh, rocker studs in, torque those in, torqued in the guide plates on both heads. Um, got all the push rods in. And this right here, this particular build has a billet solid roller camshaft with the billet uh, double roller timing chain solid roller lifters so i'm gonna show you how you adjust the valves on a solid roller camshaft and the same method applies for a solid flat tapping so we're gonna do one cylinder and uh the same rules follows for each individual cylinder so you can go it's di many different ways you could do it you can go one this way one three five seven or you can do it in sequence just rotating the motor one six so on and so on, but I do one cylinder at a time on each side of the motor. Um, a lot of people don't know how to get the right, the proper length push rod. So I'm gonna show you how I get, uh, how I check to make sure I have the right length push rod, and that will only be for this particular engine. So you can use this method on any small block, but I have hundreds and sorts of push rods, so. It's easy for me to get a push rod, mark it up, and then do the math. So I'm gonna show y'all the easiest way to do that. All right, so we're checking for proper push rod length. Um, I normally use a Sharpie, but my Sharpie is kind of dried out. You really can't see it. So what I'm gonna do is, and don't y'all judge me, but I know it's gonna work. I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of RTV. I'm going to put it right on the tip of the valve. So if you look at that, it's a very, 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 very light film of RTV. Very, 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 very light. Brake clean and get it off real easy. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Take your rocker arm. This is the intake valve. Sit it on there like that. Take your poly lock. And snug it up. And both valves are closed. So I've got it snugged up. Now what we're gonna do is rotate the engine. So that that intake valves open opens fully and close fully. It's opened up fully right there. Alright, now it's closed. Fully in. Take your rocker nut off. Take the rocker arm off. All right. Now, if you look real closely at this valve, you see that bar that's going across. Now, for the most part, that bar is in the center of the valve. So, this is one way you know if you got the too long of a push rod, too short. If this push rod was too long, this bar that you see going across the tip of the valve, it would be more so at the very tip of the valve, like coming off the edge. That means your push rod is too long. If this bar was all the way towards the back and falling off, your push rod is too short. You want to make sure that bar is going almost center evenly across the valve. Now I use RTV, so it kind of mushed and pushed it out. But if you use a Sharpie, you'll get a more accurate reading. And uh, that's pretty much how you check for a proper push rod length. Well, that's one of the methods that I use. It's a very easy way. It's been working for me for years. I haven't had any issues. And I know a lot of people, when they install the engines or building one to put together, they fail to get the right geometry right. And trust me, it truly does affect the performance of the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and... Set the rest of these up since I know which push rods to use already. And that method works for this engine. Each engine, depending on the type of lifter cam combination, will take a different length push rod. But I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of these on here. And we're going to get the valves adjusted for each cylinder. So we got two rocker arms. Oh, it's on. And... We got both valves closed and we're sitting on the power stroke. The reason I know it's on the power stroke, if you look, I got two marks that I made right here. These little dots, one and here. Six o'clock and 12 o'clock at top dead center on a small block Chevrolet. 
it's top dead center on the power stroke. So, we finna go ahead and adjust these valves, get right into it. So I got two of my poly locks. As you can see, they are long. Like I said, I'm putting a stud girdle on top of these once these are adjusted. So we're gonna go ahead and screw these down, snug these down on by hand. This one going fairly easy. All the way down, snug it right till it stops, and back up about a half of a turn. So snug it till it stops, eighth of an inch, back, back off of it. Okay. Let's figure out why this one ain't going down on here. Is it lined up correctly? Nope, there we go. All right. Screw this one all the way down. So y'all can see me do that. So I screw it down till it's snug. Rockin' don't move. Back up about an eighth of an inch. Give it a little play. That's what you want. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the engine. Uh, we're gonna wait for the exhaust valve to open. Anytime I'm doing a solid roller valve adjustment, I use the EOIC method. The exhaust valve starting to move, which you can see it just dropped. As soon as it starts to move down the cylinder, then you go ahead and you adjust your intake valve. Another way, if you're not sure, you can look down inside of the cylinder as you can see the intake valve has started to open so you adjust i'm sorry your exhaust valve has started to open so you adjust your intake valve so on mine's so, uh, hot lash is set 22 so i go 2000 tighter on the cold lash we're setting these at 20 and it's 20 all way across the board so at 20 right now, you can see I can't stick it in. I loosen up my poly lock, stick it in, tighten it down by hand. Got a little resistance, just tighten it down by hand. So you, you want a little resistance going in, which is about like that is what you're looking for. All right, so stick your filler gauge in. Once you stick your filler gauge in, then you take your wrench, your set screw on the inside, you go ahead and lock the set screw down. All right, there we go, got it locked. Tight down on it. Ah, make it pretty tight. So once you tight down on it, then you go back and check, you pull it out. All right, that's going in nice and smooth. Then you go back, put your wrench on your poly lock, you get about an eighth of a turn, tighten it down. There you go. See how that is? You want to have a little resistance going in. Shouldn't be too tight where it don't go in. Now. Like I said, a lot of times, it's what they say you can do. This is a 20, so a lot of times you can go back, you can take a 22 or a bigger, a size bigger than the one you went with. And then the one reason you, you check it is, you try to, wait a minute, that's way smaller there. Hold on, gotta go bigger. Okay, one way you check it, make sure you got the proper adjustment is, you take one, it's large and you try to push it in, and as you can see, it won't go in. So I got that one set. We're gonna go right on to the next cylinder. Make sure we got him tight. And he's tight. All right. So that's how you set the intake valve. Now, the exhaust valve is gonna go all the way down. It's opened up fully. And now it's closing. Now you see the intake valve just started to move. Intake valve, rotate the engine. It opens all the way up and it starts to close. Now just before the intake valve close, Right before it closed, stop. Then you come and you adjust your exhaust valve. So right now it won't even go in. Loosen up on it by hand, slide it in, tighten it down, and then just get a feel for it. So if it goes in fairly easy and comes right back out, it's too loose. You want to get it to where you got a little resistance, which that is pretty good right there. Then you go ahead, stick it in, lock down your center nut, Center locking nut. And once you lock that down, crank it down about an eighth of an inch, tighten it all the way up. And then you check it. So, got it tight there. Take it out. Got a little resistance. Come back, eighth of an inch, lock it down. Now it's good and tight. And that's how I like it. 
That's cylinder number one, both both valves adjusted. All right, we got all the valves adjusted. All of them locked in place. We got one side of the stud girdles on. Got stud girdle on. All right, we're just gonna tighten them down, lock them in place. Got them in top there, sitting on the power stroke. She almost together.